for this third quarter final, which will feature Estonia's first ever qualifier for this final. Going up against the host nation pick, Sal Yatma from Estonia, taking on Andrea Bethera from Mexico and the crowd will be right behind the Mexican. Let's go down to the field of play for the introductions. On target number one, representing Estonia, Lisel Yatma. On target number two, representing Mexico, Andrea Becerra. The line just for this match, Hussein Nasiri. So Lizelle Yatma, the first Estonian to qualify for the Highland Archery World Cup Finals. And the, in the box for her is Mum Marika. She's got an individual stage bronze this season. That's a 2016 Euro Youth silver medalist. Andrea Bethera at a second consecutive finals. Got a world championship bronze in 2021 and is the 2019 Universiad champion. It will be Yatma from Estonia, the 23 year old world number nine to get the quarterfinals underway. Yes! <laughs> you can see that she's trying to control those nerves and perhaps hide them as well. Yes! Both these archers just looking quite nervous, aren't they? Just going to try and settle into this match. Quite a lot of noise going on there as well. Ready. All high from Yatma. Uh-oh. Yes. Oh, <laughs> did she pull that off? The count got down to six. Six seconds left to go for Bethera, but you're right. <coughs> uh, nerves are for all to see here in this matchup. I think this is going to be an interesting one, <laughs> if I'm honest. It really, I, the, the, the pair of them look super, super nervous. I don't think I've seen Yatna looking this nervous. Yeah, I mean, I think she had some some twitchy moments. Uh, was it this year or last year now? She's been up on the senior circuit and she's shooting that back tension. She's, you see the thumb coming off the peg and her going for it. So I can't remember if she was shooting. I think she might have been shooting a trigger before, you know. Can't remember now, but they've both just got to stick to the process now and just try and calm themselves as much as they can. Yeah, Bethera, despite the nerves, shot a perfect 30. So it will be Yatma to shoot first in the second end. So all high in the first end. The first one going low in the second for the Estonian. Certainly got the backing of the home crowd. <laughs> she knew it was going to go down there, tried to pull it back. Sometimes you can make a slight influence on where it's going to go, but the speed of these arrows coming out the bow is so quick, around 300 feet a second on a compound. Yes. 
solid start from Bethera. A 29 following the 30. Puts her five points ahead. Uh, this has been a, a really shaky start from uh, Michelle Yatma. Really shaky second end as well. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of points to drop. Uh, she's made it pretty tough for herself now. Trying to get back into this match again, so she just have to put that behind her. Try and imagine she's starting again. Do the best she can to try and put some pressure back on Sarah. But it's interesting. She's got uh, this back tension. She reminds me a little bit of Braden Gelatine, the way she's got that little finger on the very top of the release. So Pacara there shooting the, the trigger, thumb wrapped around as she goes for that execution. And then Yatma, just slightly different in the you know, position of that little finger and back tension release aid. Yeah, three high arrows from Yatma in the first end, three low and wider uh, grouping as well in the second end. She's gonna shoot first in the third Trailing by five points. Yes. 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 <laughs> it's a little bit surprised by that. Happy that it had hit the ten. The wind's just picked up a little bit. It can be really difficult as well shooting next to a building like this because you don't feel the wind really coming so much and it, it kind of swirls around, funnels through gaps. Yes. Reacts quite differently as if you're out in an open field. Yes. Right, that's a confidence boosting third arrow for Lissel Yatma. Ready. And 29 for Bethera. So a six point lead now provisionally unless that second arrow gets marked up. Uh, Lissel Yatma has had a shaky start but that last arrow looked pretty solid. When you look at Bethera, is it me or does it feel like she's on the brink of throwing one into the six? <laughs> She does look nervous, you know. It almost looked like on that last arrow whether she was almost kind of leaning towards the target and that back elbow was sort of coming forward, which is like when you're under pressure, sometimes we call it you get a bit soft, you know, rather than keeping on that back wall compound to have like a back wall as those cams you can see at the top of the bow, little black wheels spin over, you get to the back of the wall and it stops. But sometimes under pressure, you just kind of get a bit soft and things start to come off. So let's see if she can maintain it. She's got the ability to, but she is looking a little bit under tension. She certainly is. And, uh, but the thing is, is, surely, I know you're not supposed to be thinking about your opponent, but with Lizelle Yatma in a whole world of pain, not starting so well, doesn't that boost your confidence somewhat? It can do, but on the other hand, you, n you try not to think about your opponent as much as possible. She was still disappointed with that nine she shot in the last arrow. So Yatma gets yes. the fourth end underway and is into the ten. Yes! Yes! So suddenly Yatma is dialed into the centre. You have to say, she's probably looking for an error from Bethera. Yes. If anything, Bethera looks the most confident that she has throughout the match. Yes, yes, yes. First <laughs> perfect from Nassal Yatma. Yes, yes, yes. And it's a perfect her second from Bethera. So the six point lead remains intact as we look towards the fifth end here. It seems the pair of them have settled at almost exactly the same time. Yeah, fourth end in, I suppose. They're just 
feeling a little bit more relaxed. Maybe Yatma's thinking, well, hey, I've dropped a lot of points here. I can just can try and settle these nerves and just do my normal thing. Both chatting to their coaches a little bit around what's going on. Nice shot to see the follow through. Archers looking to the right immediately because that's where the big screen is. They can see where their arrows have landed. So 118 for Bithera, 112 for Yatma. Yatma will shoot first in the fifth end. And uh, this is a big ask. She needs a good score and she needs Bithera basically to miss the target with one of her arrows. Yes! A little bit low, aren't they? Just make an adjustment. A bit better grouping. Well, oh, she's got space to drop a point or two. Yes, yes, well, yes. Making her debut at the High and Archery World Cup finals, Isel Yatma finishes with a 142 in her first quarter final. And another nine for a 28 for Bethera, but it's more than enough. A 146 from her. Sees her go through to the semi finals here, subject, of course, to confirmation from the judges, but don't really see uh, anything changing too much there. Nikki, really nervy. Ma I mean, I, I, my heart rate went up a little bit during that match, and uh, for, for different reasons than perhaps we were expecting. Yeah, they're both they're both quite young archers, 22 years old. They haven't had you know years and years of experience out here, and certainly with the hiatus we've had, they've missed out on some opportunities where they would have been under pressure probably in the last couple of years. So, like I say, it's, this is one of the biggest events, especially a target archer can ever go to. So, you want to win it; it's a big thing. There's going to be nerves. <laughs> 